Greece, summer 2013. The country not only faces a financial crisis, but a water crisis too. This is an increasing problem for farmers, as they need up to two-thirds of stored water to irrigate their fields. If there is no water, crops will die. It's an existential problem for farmers like Evangelos Papandrianos, who owns a citrus farm 140 kilometers southwest of Athens. Here we see part of the plantation where we lost many trees because we did not realize how dry the soil had become. We would have needed irrigation to keep them. These are the gaps we've now replaced with new trees. The same happened to other parts of the farm. At every spot where the soil dried out, our trees lost their main root. Elias Zakarias has been more lucky. He is the owner of a vineyard at Nemea in Greece and uses a new irrigation management system that has been developed under the European research project FlowAid. The system allows him to check the humidity of the soil using his cell phone, and he's even able to start watering remotely. This irrigation system is designed in such a way that it can be tuned to the local situation, taking into account soil characteristics, weather conditions and plant properties. For farmers in Greece, this means that even in times of extreme drought, they should be able to supply their fields sufficiently with the limited water resources they have. In the Netherlands, the farmers want to use the irrigation system to solve another problem. From 2027, under EU regulations, farmers will no longer be able to leak any contaminated water into the environment. And this includes water contaminated with fertilizers or pesticides. Jos Ballendonk from the University of Wageningen is the project coordinator of FlowAid. He demonstrates the core of the system. Two sensors which are able to indicate the amount of water in the ground and provide important information on when watering will next be necessary. On the computer, farmers can control the supply of water and fertilizers and analyze the plant's intake. Researchers hope that by fine-tuning the system, it will eventually lead to zero leakage. The potential impact of this technology is huge. The experiments we did in all these countries during the project have shown that we can save between 10 and 40 percent of the water. That's an enormous improvement in water economy. And the best thing is, it also works for fertilizer, where we could reduce the usage by 10 percent. The flow aid system could become an important device for farmers to defy droughts, improve their harvest, and at the same time save water and fertilizer. This is good news not only for the farmer, but also for the public and for the environment.